These are TikTok life hacks that actually work. Have you ever done something your entire life and then figured out you were doing it wrong? <laughs> oh, Coke, I would have got Sprite. Come on. I love Diet Coke. Look, the straw is like swimming. <laughs> that always happens to me. Wait. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? That has been there the entire time and I had no idea that I was using it that wrong. All right. Wow, I wish I would have figured that out a lot sooner. <laughs> Have you ever gotten food and not wanted to share? <laughs> That's called having a boyfriend. <laughs> this is really making me want some pizza right now. Like I want a four cheese pizza, but then I kind of like pepperoni, but then I also like the meat lovers one. <laughs> Wait, it was like it was never there. Next time we eat pizza, I'm gonna do that when you're not looking. What? <laughs> when a building's bathroom needs maintenance and there's just no budget left? <laughs> Why does this happen to me all the time? Like that little thing should reach. You had one job. Wait, now if all of your hair ties start missing, here's why. <laughs> here's how we test food at my grandma's house. What do we have cooking up in the kitchen? <laughs> this is the only way to tell if your noodles are actually ready. Incoming flying noodles! <laughs> I always got yelled at for bumping into the walls and scraping them when I was a kid, and this would have helped. Okay. This is literally so smart having a tiny little paintbrush. Wow, this is like a makeup brush for your house. Like you could just do <laughs> your eyebrows. I mean, your power outlet. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that comes from when you walk inside and you hit the wall with the grocery bags. <laughs> oh! Don't you hate cooking? Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> One piece of chicken coming on up. <laughs> Woo. All right, so this is where I mess up. Wait, are they about to take a bite of this right now? No! Oh, okay, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. That's gonna make cooking way easier. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start cooking at home now. True. <laughs> <laughs> when you ran into a curb on the way to Starbucks and were a little too embarrassed to tell your boyfriend. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. In this case, you can fix it because it's broke. <laughs> I mean, why would you take it to the car shop when you can literally plunge it like a toilet? Was that the toilet's plunger? Probably. No! <laughs> Baking hacks you didn't know you needed. This looks like one of those angry birds, <laughs> but he's kind of happy. Oh my goodness, so that's how they separate the yolk. Wow, that thing is basically helping you out because apparently it's healthier to not eat the middle part. But who knows? <laughs> Have you ever left the store and they forgot to take the tag off the clothes? <laughs> it's prom night, you got a fresh shirt, but the tag is still <laughs> on there and they forgot to take it off. So you have 30 minutes to get it off. You don't have time to go all the way back to the store for them to take it off. So you can do it right now and get it done. Woo. Oh my goodness. Who knew you could do that with two forks? <laughs> I'd probably start cooking at home more if I knew some of this stuff. <laughs> you guys know that you can flip Is that a pancake? That's a piece of bread, babe. Are you sure? <laughs> Have I? Yes, it does. That's how I open it. I already knew that one. Wait, I didn't know that one. Are you serious? I'm serious. Then it flips open way easier, see? <gasps> what? You know, I used to use that for opening my SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I knew this one. I'm smart, I knew it, huh? You're so smart, babe, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Now I feel ready to go make some cereal, peace. <laughs> you know when someone's cooking and they make you do the one thing that nobody else wants to do. <laughs> they are flossing the vegetables teeth right now. <laughs> okay, seriously, this is gonna save people's lives. Wait, I just thought about it. I was like, are they flossing the vegetable or is that thing getting flossed by the vegetable? <laughs> I mean, is it just me or do you just love the smell of boiled eggs? The smell or the taste? Cause I love the taste. I love the taste, but I don't love the smell. Okay. Oh, shaking it up like a milkshake. Okay, I don't know what that was for. Oh, it cracked the eggshell. Wait, that made it so easy to peel. That was excellent. <laughs> The main reason I don't like sweeping is because at the very end, you have that one fine line of all the dust left. This just reminds me the dust pans literally do nothing. It's time for a good old fall cleaning, open the windows and air the house out. <laughs> this is literally 
literally way better than using the dustpan, but kind of nasty. Wow, that wasn't that much dirt on the ground compared to our house. <laughs> <laughs> When you're stuck in the kitchen a little too long, <laughs> there's always that one person in the kitchen that never closes stuff, and I'm sitting right next to him. Wait, did they just, <laughs> me, are you serious? Did they just put bread in the container? I would have filled that thing up with M&Ms and Skittles. <laughs> this babe, this, we need this, okay? It looks like a push pop, but for bread. <laughs> <laughs> when your girlfriend forgets to clean the brush, long hair problems. Don't have them. <laughs> I wonder if this is actually, no, it actually works. <laughs> Do you ever want to make something to eat but you just don't want to because it's such a messy thing to make? <laughs> Mac and cheese time. I mean, every little noodle looks like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Now not one piece of cheese will be wasted. Wow, it is so flush with the bag. It is sucking all of the cheese out of there. This is the worst part of cooking. When you have to drain the noodles. Mm -mm. But I love noodles. I love them too, but I don't love cooking them. <gasps> wow. See, this only works if the drainer is the same size as the pan or you don't have noodles overflowing at the top. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> so that's how you cut it. They just cut that thing into four different parts. I didn't even know that's how you cut it. I usually just chop it right down the middle like fruit ninja. But. Is a pepper even a fruit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this basically makes bell pepper boats and you can fill it up with food. Well, if we were gonna float in them, which one would you choose? <laughs> <laughs> wow, just cracking it straight into the Ziploc bag. <laughs> oh, he's adding seasoning and, ev oh, cheese. See, this is like breakfast to go. My one question is, what do you have against bowls? Why <laughs> don't you just crack the eggs in a bowl, use a little fork, mix it all up like, what did a bowl ever do to you? All right. Well, you know, if you're in a rush, you have to go to school, you have to go to work. I mean, that's definitely gonna get the job done fast, but. What? It looks like an egg burrito. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a magic trick you just couldn't believe? <laughs> I could relate when you need to get the last little bit of juice or water out of something. You're just lifting it up to the edge. I mean, he could have just unscrewed the top and you know. Ooh, this seems like a genius idea. This is not gonna work. Are you serious? Is, it's gonna be no like. There's no way. Wait, it's like infinite orange juice. Wait. It won't cut no off. No way, how? Imagine if our faucet broke and it was just orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever woke up in the middle of the night with a very specific craving? <laughs> okay, so I'm sleeping, it's the middle of the night and I just hear the fridge. I just know that Jack's up and walking around and having snacks. Well, you know, ice cream is gas, so I, you know, I naturally I'm gonna have oh, ice cream. Wait, now he's talking my language, peanut butter. See, that's the part I don't like. She loves peanut butter. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter. I mean, peanut butter is life. Wait, he's melting it. <gasps> 30 seconds, good choice, good choice. It just hit me. I know what he's doing. I'm ready. <gasps> wow. Wow, a peanut butter drizzle? That's like from a store. <laughs> Have you ever got something super important in the mail, like a birthday card, and then you opened it and accidentally ripped it? <laughs> so this is your graduation certificate in here, and if you mess this up, you didn't graduate, so do not rip it. Okay, that's definitely not how I open envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. See you in the next video. Ah!